Thanks, guys. Hi. All right, so my name is Florian. Um, thanks for the time here that you're joining me. And um, basically, I'm here to represent our CEO, who's unfortunately not able to um, be here today. But um, yeah, we can start now. Um, so, but before we start with the company itself, I would like to um, highlight that there are many factors, right, which can um, contribute to the success or failure of a company. It's the time, it's the strategy, it's the right idea. So there are many things. But we think that if the right idea matches the right execution of an idea, something great can happen. And we think it's the right time for Unified Inbox. So why do we think it? So if we look at this chart, we can see that in the last couple of years or decades, communication or the modes you can communicate has increased, right? It's nearly an explosion. So in the last years, we, saw, we started from letters, telegraphs, telephones, right? And now ended up with Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, whatever you can call it, right? So in fact, um, there's a huge increase, but with all the liberty we have gained, and we also got um, several challenges, because there, there's an information overload, um, a break of channels itself, so somebody sends a message on Facebook, answers an email, or even calls a person, but there's also um, like a separation of communities itself. Look at China, they use WeChat. Um, in other countries, they use WhatsApp. So there's a, there's a whole bunch of challenges, basically. So what does um, Unified Inbox do? So we basically um, enable unified communication as a service, which means put yourself, please, into the shoes of a smartphone user, of a smart device user, of a um, connected car. Um, how many times to communicate do you have to change windows, even applications, or you have to copy-paste stuff because it's not synchronizing very well, right? So we allow to access multiple communication channels, basically, and with one unified platform, and it's called the unification engine, what you can see here in the, in the middle. It doesn't look like this, but that's just for purpose that you can see it. All right, cool. So how it works, um, let me introduce the Internet of Communication. We believe that there can't be an Internet of Things without an Internet of Communication, which basically means that connected devices can speak with each other, but you need channels for it, right? So unification engine has different connectors. So whether you have an application, and device, or a platform, you can access with one unified um, connector, one API call, basically, to our engine, and connect to the different Facebook or social media channels itself, but also email, telephone, whatever you want to have it. And if there, we have built all the different connectors, and if there is a connector missing, you can just develop it by your own, basically. So it's like a unified open source protocol. To summarize it, it's a game-changing technology, which is at the right time, right? But how does it look? To give you some showcases, basically, imagine yourself again driving in your car. You're running late. What happens then? You can speak to your car, basically, and say, um, please send a message to my partner. Or even, please drop a message in Twitter. Or post the last picture I've taken in Instagram. Something like this. Or even um, Travel24, right? Shortlisted flights, um, short notice flights, sorry. And imagine um, they want to sell their products, right? In, rather than just wasting them. How do they reach to their customers very effectively and very fast? So that, therefore, they can use our technology. But also governments can make use of it. Imagine a tsunami disease, something like this. How does the government effectively, um, quickly inform all the people um, did you know that in the tsunami in Japan, more people were warned through Twitter compared to any other communication channel? Why was it? Because the major communication channels basically just break down in such situations. So our tool can help to save lives. And even if you look on your phone, right, that's probably how it looks like today. You have a lot of inboxes, different applications, and why don't you just unify it um, with one application um, with a unified inbox? And Looking forward into the future, imagine your trash sends a message to your robot, and this robot um, brings the trash out, and basically the drone picks it up and put it out. Right? So these are like futuristic things, but imagine your washing machine is ready. It just sends a message into your WhatsApp um, group of the family, right? so that the next person can pick it up. Or even um, imagine elderly people just fall at their home. Sensors can recognize it and send a message to their neighbors. So all these things are showcases where our application, uh, our um, technology can apply, basically. We are um, a network of global partners with our headquarters in Singapore um, due to the significance, of course, um, of the Southeast Asian region. Um, but also, Singapore wants to become the number one um, uh, smart city in the world, the first one. And um, we have a 
global network. Basically, we do a lot of significant research in, um, in Auckland with the university together, but also we have expert in the US, in India, and in Germany. So um, we have five patents, patents basically. We have um, 10 applied. And in addition to this, we are backed by several investors um, where we have raised like a seven digit um, amount of funding in the last two years. And we're currently searching for more, um, which part of it will go into a sales force and part of it will go into research and development. And um, basically that's our company. Here on the left side, you can see the CEO, Toby. He's a very visionary guy. Unfortunately, not able to attend, but if you have any questions, he's tomorrow in Kuala Lumpur because he's currently still in Hong Kong on a pitch. Um, but we'll be back here in Kuala Lumpur tomorrow. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free. Um, thank you so much for your attention. Thank you, Florian. Do we have any uh, questions for Florian? Uh, Florian, I understand that you also prioritize the messages that we receive through the unified inbox. How does that work? Yeah, basically, we have a pattern on it. Um, can I get the slides, please, again? So basically, we have um, several patterns, as I just mentioned. And one of these is our unification engine searches for the cheapest way for you. So um, imagine you're driving in your car, right? You're saying, please send a message to my partner. Your, our unification engine, um, the technology itself, will search for you the most cheapest and fastest way. So that's one technology we basically can apply. Um, oh, wow, that's from the beginning. Anyway, yeah, hope that answered your question. Are there any other questions from the floor? If you do have anything you'd like to address to Mr. Florian, please do kindly do so off stage. Thank you very much, uh, Florian, for presenting on the Unified Inbox solution. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of this part of IdeaPad. After lunch, we'll have more presentations on stage, so please do kindly join us back inside this venue at 2 p.m. But for the companies that have presented and are based here in Malaysia, there's news for you. Hong Leong Islamic would like to partner with your company, provide payment gateways, and also help you with your marketing. So Hong Leong Islamic is looking forward to collaborating with all companies based in Malaysia. We'll help you get in touch. To all our investors uh, who are here in the hall, we will be giving you a database of all the presenters and presentations, just in case you missed any of them uh, throughout the course of IdeaPad. So please do get in touch with Daniel. He'll be able to provide you with the entire list. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you after lunch at 2 p.m.